So I've been working on another video enumerating the number of possible outcomes of a popular children's game. Sometimes you have to steer into what the algorithm wants a little bit. And, well, one thing led to another, and now I've made a fractal drum machine. Here's how it works. There are two players who each have three options for what move to play. The columns represent the moves of player one, and the rows represent the moves of player two. As you can hear, I've sonified these using a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat, using different samples for the two players to help distinguish them a little bit. So the idea is that each square represents a single round of the game, with its horizontal position representing the move of player one, and its vertical position representing the move of player two. And we hear the sounds associated with both moves every time. But along the diagonal, something interesting happens, because when both players play the same move, it's a tie, and we have to play another round. As a result, in each square of the diagonal, there's an exact copy of the entire structure of the game. And when you click on one of those squares, you get a two round match. Unless of course you click on the diagonal of that inner square, in which case they have to play a third match. And so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. Of course, to really make an instrument out of this, we need to make it adjustable. And so if we go to Options, Playback Settings, we can change the note duration, or the duration of a single round of the game, and also the volume decay factor. I'll try making it 0.6. What that's going to do is make each subsequent round quieter than the one before it. On the other hand, if I make the decay factor 1, then it stays loud the whole time. Let's do some really fast ones. But of course, what good would this be if all you could do is use my crappy drum sounds? No, you gotta let it send MIDI to other applications. So here I've set up a copy of Piano Tech with a Celtic harp sound. And I'll go to Options MIDI Configuration. And I'll go ahead and switch it so that it uses uh, one of the virtual MIDI outputs. And while I'm at it, I'll pick a few nice pitches for it to play. And let's take it for a test drive. I'll slow it down a little bit and give it some decay. One thing that's kind of fun is to look for squares that represent certain musical patterns. For example, the dead center of the diagram represents both players choosing the same move over and over and over and over. Well, except at the very end. Similarly, the upper left and lower right represent them always choosing a different pair of the same move. But then you could find alternating patterns. So there's center, right, center, right, center, right, center, right. Or you could have a cycle of three. Center, upper left, lower right. Center, upper left, lower right. Center, upper left, lower right. Anyway, you can find yourself in some pretty interesting pattern spaces. And I kind of like to just pick an instrument, zoom in on some random part of the fractal, and play around. And actually, there's something kind of cool about the pattern thing if we go back to the drum samples. You know that infamous drum loop that goes boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats? Well, it's right here. So 
See what I did was base hi hat snare hi hat. Zoom in on right there. Base hi hat snare hi hat. Zoom in right there. Base hi hat snare hi hat. Oh, and check out this pop drum beat. I love this fractal. I mean, in a way it can kind of play any beat. So long as we stipulate that you only ever play kick, snare, and hi-hat, and only one at a time, and always in a perfectly regular pulse with no rests. But in a way, I think you could overcome a lot of those limitations with a slightly more complicated fractal. So yeah, that's my fractal drum machine, drum pad, whatever you want to call it. It's such a simple kind of fractal actually, but it represents a rich array of possible patterns. And I like the way the different parts of the fractal represent kind of different pattern families. So come on, have I convinced you? Do you want to try this for yourself? Well, it's up on my Patreon. And you know, I've been thinking about how to approach Patreon and increasingly I might start to offer software like this. In particular, there's an app that I've been working on that I think I'm going to start beta testing with my Patreon subscribers. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the video that spawned this crazy fractal drum machine.